My name's Nerida Williams. I'm the head of the Learning Area Vet at Servite College. I've been teaching 30 years and this is my 12th year at the college. I started very part-time when my son was three years old and how he's in year 10. So I think that means I've worked full-time for about eight years, which can be quite exhausting as a working mum, but also really rewarding. The Servite community holds a really special place in uh, my heart. I'm an ex-student, graduated class of 86. Uh, my twin brother was head boy that year. So both my brothers came to Servite, as did both my children. Uh, starts with coffee, it's usually pretty busy. Um, my role has a lot of admin, so a lot of emailing, personal contact with students and parents, host employers, training providers. Um, and then I generally race off and teach two or three lessons in the day. And our office, the Pathways office, is a real drop-in zone, so it's always full at break one and break two. It's usually pretty noisy, pretty rowdy, but there's great energy and vibe amongst the students. And, um, you know, I think the best part of my job is mentoring the students and, and helping them achieve their goals. I think I'd have to say it's St Philip's Day, where we start with mass and then we have the, the football cup. Um, good to see the girls getting out there on the field. I love the costumes and all the planning. You know, it's usually been years worth of planning as to what students are going to wear. And then the talent concert. There's always an amazing array of talent. It always shocks me. The quietest student in your class sometimes has the most amazing voice or you know, talent that we're totally unaware of. Uh, I think in my role at Servite, I am in a really privileged position. I get to see students on their individual journey. I make connections for them, build relationships with them and the wider community to help them you know, achieve their, their goal. Um, I particularly love the challenge of working with students that might be a little bit disengaged at school but get them out there on workplace learning and they just shine. So in the right conditions it's very rewarding to see students thrive. Um, I think the number one tip is be kind to yourself. You can't learn everything overnight so just sort of go with the flow. COVID-19 has taught us to, you know, be flexible. Um, as teachers, we're often responsible for things we can't control. So, you know, just adapt and uh, be flexible. For students, you know, connect with someone, you know, find that one friend that, you know, you have something in common with and basically you can have a laugh in the, the you know, enjoyable times, but also the tough times. It's really important to have good friends around you. Uh, I guess I'd have to start with family. Family's everything. I'm very fortunate to have a small, close family. Also, um, I love cooking and dining with friends, but my, my most recent passion, a couple of years ago, I learnt to stand up paddleboard. So most weekends I'm down the river. I take my groodle on the board. Um, I'm in a social group where we do twilight paddling during the summer months. And my goal this year is to paddle right the way through winter. So Saturday mornings, we usually launch at Maylands bright and early, seven o'clock, and then we paddle over to East Perth Cove, have coffee, have breakfast, and then head back. So it's good exercise, good fitness, and I kind of went into it for my health and well-being. So it's definitely become something I love doing every weekend.